everyone, it's Donna here, and I just want to come on real quick and uh, do this video on uh, Roxy's Journal of Stitchery, my completed February uh, page. Um, I, I really struggled with this one. Um, it was neutral background and, uh, what was the other one, fancy flowers or something flowers. <clears throat> For the neutral background, that, that part was easy. I, I just did a simple row. It's like a display of all my eyelet um, laces. All my pretty eyelet laces. I have quite a collection of them. So that, it was kind of to, to display that. And for the flowers, I, I was really struggling. Um, I ended up with, with this one. It was just cut from a piece of fabric. And I just did some um, messy stitching to fill in some of the colors in the flowers and the leaves. And I, I think it lended a nice vintage feel to it. Um, I also put some lace down the side and some um, French knots. And each of the laces I did a little bit of um, decoration in the design for, for them. And then just some loosely ruffled French lace along the edge and some um, more French knots to hold those on. Um, some of the other options that I struggled with for the flowers were, and I actually finished this one, but I didn't end up using it. Hopefully I'll be able to use it on some other page um, in, this, in this journal. This was just a piece of this corded lace that I filled in some of the some of the flowers and the leaves with satin stitch. I I am not very good at satin stitch, so this was a good um, good practice piece for me. And I didn't use it because it was one. It was a little bit too small, and two, it was a little bit too bright for the look that I was going for. Um, I also I, and I. I didn't want to cover up too much of the laces because they're kind of a display of my laces. Another option that I was struggling uh, considering, I have this book that I got from the library, Embroider, um, Botanical Embroidery. And it has, it's really, really nice book. I'm, I'm considering um, finding it somewhere and buying it. But it has all these different botanical um, projects and it it does a really good job of explaining them and i was considering doing this one the lavender because it was kind of dainty and it wouldn't have covered up the um the lace so much but i'm not that confident in my embroidery um abilities just yet and i didn't want to ruin the piece so i didn't do it i might um do it separate on another piece of fabric just to to practice but this is what I ended up with. Um, so that was the February block. And then I am I just started on the March, March page, which was Antique Reclaimed Fabrics, which I was happy to see that because Lord knows I have a stash of antique linens and fabrics. And then Bright Butterfly. So this is the background so far. I might switch out this for, um, I, I have another lay, another collar that I might, that I've never found a place to use it, so I might switch that out, but this just pinned in right now. This is a, um, a hanky, very, very thin. You can see my hand through it. That's how thin it is and delicate it is. Embroidered, and then it has this, this um, 3D flower on the top, and then some more of that corded corded lace and my butterfly will go in the center here I have no idea what I'm going to do for that I've pulled out a, a few options I have this embroidered butterfly that's very large very bright um, I had a piece of fabric that has a, a butterfly on it so I, I might cut that out I have a little butterfly applique that I could do some work on it to, to color it and then this antique, this came off of a doily. So that would go with the 
um, antique fabric part of it and then I would need to find some way to to color it because it's supposed to be bright butterfly well this would certainly be a bright butterfly <laughs> so that's where I am on March's March's page and here's my February page I hope everybody is is uh, playing along with this it's it's been a lot of fun I've really enjoyed um, seeing what Rachel and Sarah um, are doing with their pages and the Facebook page so much inspiration over there um, I'll put a link down below to um, Rachel and Sarah's channels if you haven't checked it out yet and that's all I have for today bye for now